On January the 10th, 1963, read into the congressional record of our country, Congressman Herlong, the 45 goals of communism in America. And they were such things as gaining control of the public school system and the teacher union so you can indoctrinate the kids, gaining control of the news media and Hollywood so that you could change the culture of America, depressing the value of the family, removing God from the public sector, changing the churches so that instead of the real gospel, you had the social gospel, making sexual perversion normal, natural, and healthy. All of these things are going on in our society today. There have always been those who have wanted to change who we are. But I gotta tell you, even though they say awful things about our country, they say we're systemically racist, we treat people inappropriately. If we were all that bad, why are all these people trying to get in here? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trista. If this is your first time uh, watching my video, welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, in this video, before I get started, please subscribe, like this uh, channel, and let me know in the comments below if you are new, if you uh, enjoyed what, you, what you've seen. Also, hit me up on um, X. I will put the link or just put my information here on this uh, video, just letting you know where you can follow me and not only on this video but in the description box below as well and so what I want to talk about is the battle be between beliefs between Christianity and the modern culture now the first video that you just seen was by Dr. Carlson and he is a retired neurosurgeon okay now th this is really important because I really want to flesh out exactly what he was talking about in this video and that is why that's the first thing that you saw when you uh, clicked onto this video. So my point in bringing out uh, or even talking about this particular topic is because I really want you to see um, in just really small detail, just simple details, why is it important for us to really have a biblical view over society's lies, okay? Now, I was talking about Ben Carson and he is speaking at the Turning Point Action uh, Conference that just happened recently. And it is just so important what he literally just said, okay? Now, I'm gonna break it down just a little bit. What he literally just said just now was that um, in, in January 10th in 1963, I believe, uh, what was read into Congress was 45, communist goals to infiltrate here in America to okay. you and he actually broke it down he only mentioned a couple things of that whole list of goals of infiltrating uh the United States. I have okay. a list of the actual uh, goals that Dr. Ben Carson was talking about. And I'm just, again, I'm just going to read off just a little bit, but remember there's 45 of them. Okay. So here's just a few. Eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press. Okay. Do we see that happening today? Okay. Do we see an actual People in government saying that there needs to be censorship on free speech. Yes or no? Here's another one. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazine, motion pictures, radio, and TV. Do we see that in today's society? Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. Do we see that today in society? Infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion, discredit the Bible, and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. Eliminate prayer or any phase of religious expression in schools on the ground that it violates the principle of separation of church and state. Do we see this going on today in society? Discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, 
old-fashioned, out of step with modern needs, a hindrance to cooperation between nations or worldwide bias, discredit the American founding fathers, present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. Now, this is just a few. I just read to you just a little bit, just a couple of the 45, the 45 communist goals to infiltrate the uh, United States. Now, that is literally what Ben Carson was just saying. This is why it is so important for us as Christians to stand up against exactly what is going on. What exactly is going on is what you are seeing today. And what you are seeing today is a lot of ideas that go against the word of God. In Colossians 1, 28, it says, He is the one we proclaim, and, it, and this is talking about Jesus, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ in Christ so that is why we need to be careful as when it comes to pastors and teachers who have an underlining agenda besides the word of God now um, in first Timothy 6 3 to 5 it says this if anyone teaches otherwise and does not agree to the sound instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ and to godly teaching, they are conceited and understand nothing. They have an unhealthy interest in controversies, quarrels about words that result in envy, strife, malicious talk, evil suspicions, and constant friction between people of corrupt mind who have been robbed of the truth and who think that godliness is a means to financial gain. This is the main reason why we want to be able to call out those that are false teachers because they are hindering the body of Christ. And we need to expose, expose those teachers that are wolves in sheep's clothing that have infiltrated the, the church. Let's take a look at what Jamal Bryan talked about during the interview after he Kamala Harris spoke at his church. He said something is wrong with brothers who don't know how to support a sister. Yeah. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> and Mordecai was man enough to know that in order for me to be a man, I got to know how to support a woman. Something is wrong with brothers who don't know how to support a sister. It was a sister that raised you. It was a sister that taught you how to read. It was a sister that taught you how to bathe yourself. In the context of the vice president, were you trying to send a message? Uh, yeah, uh, that um, uh, we've got to be able to vote that misogyny is still real uh, in our community. Um, we've got to address it head on and act like, not act like it doesn't exist. Uh, the reality is if black men had voted, Stacey Abrams would be a governor. Uh, and so I think that we've got to do some real redress uh, that uh, after racism, the biggest ill in America is sexism. Uh, and I think it's part of the responsibility of this generation to deal with it head on. So this is a, a an interview that uh, Jamal Bryan did on CNN after Kamala Harris spoke at his church. And number one, the fact that he had a woman preaching on a Sunday speaking at his church, just another disqualification for Jamal Bryan to not be a pastor and everything that he literally just said in that interview had nothing to do with Jesus Christ had nothing to do with the gospel and this is one of the things that I wanted to point out in that whole the 45 goals of communists to infiltrate the United States this is number 27 that Jamal Bryan just presented number 27 just to remind you it says infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion, discredit the Bible and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. And this is just an example of Jamal Bryan disqualifying himself to be a pastor over a church. Besides the fact that he openly admitted that he cheated on his wife that's why he is divorced. And this is exactly what he said. The main reason why he is divorced is because he cheated on his wife. Automatic disqualification for being an overseer or a pastor over a church. And so that is clear in First Timothy when it talks about the qualifications of an overseer. They must be above reproach. And I just believe that because of that scripture, if any, if any man that does decide to cheat on their wife before becoming a pastor or even after they have became, become a pastor, it's automatic 
disqualification for even being an overseer or a pastor over a church. And so that is just one of the things that I wanted to point out that is things like this that is hindering the church or, or the Christian being able to have the discernment that's needed to be able to point out these things that's happening in our society. So we're following along with everything that's going on with, with society and thinking that it's okay instead of proclaiming the actual word of God. These are words and ideas that is being infiltrated into the church that we need to proclaim and, and we need to call out and say, no, that is false. They are not qualified to be pastors or an overseer of the church. And so another thing that I wanted to point out too is this is by the White Rose organization and they, they have created a documentary about the Planned Parenthood and how it got started by Margaret Singer. And this is again, another one of those things that we need to openly talk about and declare what thus saith the Lord when it comes to abortion. And so what this documentary documentary is talking about is how pa planned Parenthood got started here in the United States. And this is just a, a trailer of this amazing documentary. Take a look at this documentary. The time and then again, when black lives actually matter. Which is weeks to go before the election, Democrats realize that they're going to need the black male vote to win this thing. So they're putting out all the usual suspects to guilt you in a voting for their chosen candidate. You just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Like they always do, they're romancing you by promising to give you free stuff, all the while replacing you with Venezuelans. They're gonna give you weed and Bitcoin? They're telling you to vote for her because she's black like you, sort of. She is not new to being black. So she get what it's like to be black, right? Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Sometimes the truth slips out accidentally. And you ain't black. So I guess black lives do matter on occasion on the off chance that they make it past their birth canal. You heard me. The left is doing everything in their power to prevent that very thing from happening. Don't believe me? The majority of abortion mills and murder factories include Planned Parenthoods or in black neighborhoods. The vast majority of babies aborted are black. It's not even close, but that was by design, premeditated. The marriage of the Democrat party and Planned Parenthood is on full display. They use slogans like my body, my choice and reproductive rights as euphemisms for what Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, really had in mind. The extermination of the black population in the United States of America. I admire Margaret Sanger enormously. Her courage, her tenacity, her vision. But they did what they always do. They scrubbed the inconvenient truth about Margaret Sanger's design to exterminate the Negro population, but kept up the charter with the fervor you may describe as religious. So apparently black lives never matter except as a means of a bloody end. Find out how racism has been in the DNA of the Democrat party going back a hundred years. The dirty secret is that Planned Parenthood lynched more unarmed black lives every two weeks than the KKK lynched in a century under the guise of bloody autonomy, women's choice, and freedom. From eugenicist extremists to Nazi proponents and sympathizers, Ku Klux Klan leaders and the architects of the Jim Crow South. The goal never changed, exterminating the Negro population. But there's hope. The Democrats know that black men have woken up to the reality of what they represent and they're terrified. The destruction of the family, the celebration of child mutilation, the dilution of the black voice through illegal immigration, the degradation of morals, and the unhinged and irrational advocacy for abortion, all with the root motive of a black genocide. So join Seth Gruber as he takes us back to the origins of Planned Parenthood and its racist founder, Margaret Sanger, and see how she influenced the Nazi party, the extermination of blacks, and finally the modern death cult known as the Democrat Party, who has taken up her torch with bloodthirsty religious fervor. To understand where we are now, we have to go back to where it all started, 1916. The 1916 Project, exclusively on X, October the 22nd. Okay, so what do you guys think of that trailer? It is very interesting, and it will literally open up your mind on exactly some of the rhetoric that's being promoted today, that's being promoted in churches, that's being promoted in movies and in TV shows, and even in our kids' school. We have to speak up, and we have to speak out about some of this negative rhetoric that is being promoted today, that is against 
the biblical perspective over society's lives. If you are with me, definitely subscribe to my channel, comment below, and let me know if you agree with some of the things that I talked about. Let me know if there's some other topics that you want me to talk about as well, because there is so many things that, um, that are that is being talked about that we need to flesh out and that we need to really encourage each other we need to really declare what thus saith the lord and so let me know in the comments below type amen if you agree thank you guys so much for watching to tune and tuning in tune into my next video and god bless